Welcome! And in this video, I want to talk about the jerk and I want to talk especially about chest drive and that comes after the first dip. And this is my man, Daniel, my online student who graciously gave me permission to use this video. Now, it is last minute of a six or seven minute set now we never do technical assessments of last minutes unless uh, we are preparing for competition because last minute is last minute and you usually give everything um, so let's see let's start so basically this is the rack position and this is the first dip now watch the first dip what should be and what happens good you see he slides his knees forward meaning that i want to keep the center of sorry i want to keep the center of the bells over the center of my foot meaning that my lower back is out of the question because the load goes straight through the hips into the ground so no problem here from that point look what happens and i want you to watch to observe this part now you see he begin to push from here you see what happens he begins to drive with this knee with his knees so knees are going straight and look what happens at his chest let's go let's rewind it back you see knees bend he goes out and you see how his spinal curve from being curved slowly going being extended and this is what chest drive is is basically when i stand with the bells racked on me and then okay this is my knees this is my foot then when i extend i do the hyper extension from my from my t-spine so my t-spine i'm exaggerating here on purpose is extended back only the t-spine you see the lumbar is neutral and it pushes my arms with the bells up exactly Okay, exactly what happens here. Now let's watch the elbows. They tuck to the chest and from here, boom, they go up. So this is the phase where Daniel pushes from his chest, giving initial force. Basically, he's driving the force from the ground through his feet feet onto his spine and from his chest onto his arms and this allows enough acceleration for bells to travel up at this point what needs to happen is they ought to go above like somewhere uh, at his chin or nose level and from this point, I expect to push myself like this is my head, this is my chest, this is my hips. Okay, something similar to weightlifting. I want to push myself down uh, using the bells as my anchor. So basically, after that, I stand up with the bells let's see okay now here first of all he's tired it it's last minute and there are some technical issues here that i'm not going to discuss except only one as i said you do not judge or uh, make assessment on the last minute from here he must uh, uh, begin his under squat you see and he started this later so basically you see from this point 
he must press okay so it's muscle the bell up now this is not the technical point i want to show but this one when i shoot the bells okay i want the bells to go straight up because if my shoulder okay like it's a hinge and it's a door and my shoulder makes this hinging motion flexing motion it changes the center of mass so it's completely changes the technique okay i want to shoot the bells you see uh, you see i want to shoot the bells up and from this point it will be way easier for me to push myself and uh, to push myself down underneath the bells all right uh, practice the chest bump because without the chest bump you begin to muscle the jerk from first rep which means that you won't get far right safe trip enjoy training and i'll see you in the next video